Well, that started a little bit early. All right, can you all hear me? Let me know. Let me know if you don't mind. All right. All right, so look, I figured I would just do a little bit of a live stream. I don't know if I'm going to get through the whole thing, but we'll just have to see how that rolls. I'm making a picture here. I'm going to have to talk into the microphone because it's back here. So, so when my wife was real young, her, one of her really good close childhood friends, her, his parents wanted a picture that they saw that I posted. I don't have that picture anymore. So I believe it's sold, but I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to make them another one. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make them another one. So before I get started, I just want to say a big old thank you to... I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but Lacaz, Lacaz, I don't know, something, Lacaz Coffee Company. Because, man, I got to tell you, this coffee is incredible. I saw this, uh, this arrived here today. This is a nice little box with 24 single brew cups compatible with the K cups. And what did I like about this? Hold on, there was something that I liked. Ah, there it is. Passion in a cup. That's my kind of coffee right there. Passion in a cup. That just gave me an idea. I'm going to make my own coffee. My own coffee. And it's funny because I actually had a couple different places reach out and they wanted to do that. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to hit them up after this live stream. Make some passion coffee. Which, by the way, I'm drinking right now. Maybe I'll drop a link in the description. All right, but you guys aren't here to see me drink coffee, I'm assuming. So look, I'm going to hold my palette up real quick, all right? I'm just going to, these are the colors that are on there. When I'm done the video, I'll put the colors in the description, okay? Super easy, though. Prussian blue, uh, phthalo blue. This is, uh, I think this is midnight black, burnt umber. You know what? I'll come back because I forget. That's the, it's a Bob Ross color. I normally don't use it. Um, Dark Sienna, that's it. Sap Green, Cad Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Indian Yellow, and Lizard Crimson. All right? That's that. That's, that. that's out of the way. Let me, uh, some of this paint's running downhill. All right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit because y'all don't want to look at me. You want to see the canvas. All right. That's legit. Legit. So I hope you guys are doing pretty good and well. Hopefully this internet connection holds up. I've been having trouble here, and that's another reason I haven't done many live streams, because the internet sucks. So thank you for that, Comcast. I really appreciate that. All right. All right, so i got to check something real quick. Uh, so this, uh, this picture, just got to get a quick look at it because I don't have it printed out. I just want to get the basic color palette that I'm using. It's kind of like the orangey gold look going on. All right. So I just took a quick look at it. I think we're all right. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to jump into it a little bit. Start off with some straight up yellow, cad yellow. A little bit of that stuff. Get my paper towel set up and ready. Yeah, it looks about right. Looks pretty good. Drop some of it down there too. So I'm using this cad yellow and I'm going to go darker, darker, and darker as I get towards the top. So let's see, what do I want to do? I'm going to go, I'm going to use a little Indian yellow to go on top of that. It's going to get dark pretty quick. 
See, I got a little crimson in there. That's okay, though. It's quite all right. Quite all right. I think what makes it so easy when I'm when I'm doing something is because I honestly do not care. I don't care if it comes out bad or ugly or anything like that. I just don't care. So I think that helps the process because if you're worried about doing something perfect, you know, it may not happen. All right, let me try, let me try some yellow ochre here. A little yellow ochre, see if that looks all right. All right, it's a little bit darker, so that's cool. We'll use it. And I'll tell you, I've actually been trying to start this live stream for the better part of three hours now. It's just been an interesting day today. Interesting day in my interesting life. So, we started it. When's the last time I've done a live stream? It was about six months ago. See, I'm just throwing color everywhere. So now I'm going to get darker, darker, and darker as I go up. I think I'm going to go right into some burnt umber. That's pretty dark. That and maybe a little bit of uh, a little bit of yellow ochre just to kind of lighten it up just a little bit. Already making a mess. Yeah, that's good. Drop some of that there. Yep. That's what it's going to look like. So if you guys didn't see my recent video, go over there and watch it after this. Hope you all like it. I made a, what I thought it was a pretty good video. It's only three and a half minutes long, but it's uh, very self-descriptive. All right, so we got to go even darker. So I'm going to mix some black in. Mix a little bit of that uh, black in with this burn number. Just to get us a nice little transition type thingy happening here. You know what I mean? Boom. Boom, boom. There we go. Nice and dark. Now I'm just going to use straight black. Probably could use a little blue. That would have been cool too. But this is good enough because this has a little purple tone to it. I love the, uh, the Bob Ross Midnight Black. Something like that right there. All right, let me drop that. Let me grab another brush here real quick. And... I'm just going to blend this up real quick. I don't want to kill it too much. I want you to be able to see the different layers and different things like that. But these are pretty cool colors, actually. I never really use these. However, I did paint a I don't know, 12 or 15 foot wall in my studio <clears throat> with these colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought that was pretty cool. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so this is good. You see how it goes from dark to light. This will give you that... What's it called? Vignetta effect. I've been doing that a lot in my pictures. Darken the corners up and then lighten them up as you get towards the center. I don't know what it does. Maybe draws people's eye in something. Who knows? Let's move some of this out right there. So another thing, I'm giving a picture away. If anybody hasn't seen that yet, make sure to check that post. That's on Facebook. So by the way, I am streaming both to Facebook and to YouTube currently, right now. So yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Yeah, I think I'm watching both too, I think. I don't know. So I'll look at the comments after, you know, after the video. Um, Try not to look at them too much while I'm doing this, just because it's going to stop me from doing what I'm doing here. And, you know, people want to see me paint, right? They don't want to hear me talk and answer questions. All right. Not worried about it over there too much. Drop a little color there. All right. That's that. This out of the way. More of this coffee going right up here. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried this coffee, wow, it is so good. It feels passionate to drink, I must say. All right, let me get a number three, a fan brush here. All right, let's do 
me see, actually. Let me check this picture real quick. Let's do a few clouds in this little picture. Do I have any? Oh, yeah, I got some in there. I got some, all right. They got a nice little pinkish look to them, so there we go. So I just keep going back to the picture just to kind of get a good look at what's happening here. I'm just scooping up some white, big old chunk of white paint, and a little bit of that crimson in it to get that nice pink look. <clears throat> all right. Right. Just getting the uh, paint on this fan brush here. See what we can do. <clears throat> All right. All right. There's a few little layers. Oh, yeah. Nice little fluffers. A little more pink in there. Nice. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, this is good. <clears throat> I like the number three uh, fan brushes. I've been using them a lot lately. See? All right. Let me just do something else here real quick. I'm going to set this fan brush down real quick because I actually... So we're going to send this painting out, right? We're going to send this out to Martha. So I want to do something real quick. So I don't always do this in my pictures, but one's a little more personal. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to make a cloud. Like that. Scoop it right up with your finger. Just drop it in. Drop it in like you own it. All right. All right, now, before I move on, let me take this brush here and try to make this a little bit smooth. Lift it up a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to grab my finger again, mix it up. I just want to try to. I'm gonna make actually, you know what? Let's do this. I'm just gonna make a little bit of a layer with a little bit more of the pink but crimson in it. There. Go. See that? Watch this. wipe my finger off wasn't planning that or I would probably wear a glove <clears throat> all right just work this paint around here give it a nice little blend going on smooth it out and lift her up Got us a little cloud going on, you know what I mean? All right, all right. <clears throat> Man, I just realized I feel good. I feel really good. I like that because, you know, shit happens to everybody. And, uh, and did I have some shit happen in a couple of months? Let too much stuff get to me. Let it bring me down. And I just had to take my own advice and just start doing this again because this is like a cure all, in my opinion. And uh, that's actually something I don't argue too much, but that's something that I would actually argue about. All right, I had to walk across the room and get my knife because, I don't know, I left it somewhere. Um, let me hang that back up there. Get that out of the way. All right, so now i got to mix up a color to make a little nice little mountain here. So I'm going to use, let's try this. I'm going to take some midnight black. Russian blue and some uh, crimson. I have no clue what that gives us, but whatever it gives us is what's going up there. Maybe a touch of brown. Should gray it. <clears throat> right. Here we go. All right. 
make a night nice, the mountain i had in this picture was just like a really cool basic but nice mountain you know what i'm saying here we go here we go make this one right here look at this nice and easy see that if you ever hear don't make triangles with your mountains i'm here to tell you make a triangle do it i'll show you so we're going to make this perfect triangle right there okay see that perfect triangle watch this <clears throat> Perfect triangle. Let me get this brush here. Let's do this. Do, do, do. Just drag some of this around like you own it. You gotta do everything like you own it. All right. <clears throat> Off the side. Right. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of something here we don't know what's back there this could be trees i mean like a forest see that beyond the mountain we don't i don't know what that is do you no clue not worried about it drag this back in front of that there we go let me grab some of that i'm going to grab a little crimson and a little white on here and see what we got going on with this I don't know why, but I feel like it needs it. All right, so now let's take our triangle and do something with it. Set that there. I'm going to grab some white paint. I guess there's a little pink in there too, huh? Pretty cool. Let's see what we got. Let's drop some pink on here. about right huh <clears throat> you know what Put a little on this guy here too all right now I'm gonna take that same uh, color let me get some uh, hmm. what is that thalo blue I suppose let's see how this looks make it super vibrant that's too vibrant hold on I gotta some more white paint. Any day now. Any day. Here we go. Now I want to drop in a little bit of a uh, beautiful little something here. The shadow look. Oh, yeah. All right, so there we got some basic color, right? Now, get some straight up white paint. Pull that out nice and good. Let's drop a few little bright things on here, maybe. Right on the edge. That's good. Down there. I'm going to break that line up a little bit. Mix it up. Do this. Let's actually really bring this guy out here. Something like that. Now, I'm going to get some of the mountain base color. A little bit lighter. I want to bring this a little bit closer to us. I'm going to darken this up here. Something like that. We can wiggle and jiggle and you know break this line up a little bit too, just so there's nothing, nothing straight going on there. Back to the little bit of the shadow blue. A little touch of goodness on this. A little pink. Yeah, gotta make it uh gotta make it unrealistic, you know. Always waiting for that comment of somebody to tell me that there's no such thing as these colors in real life. And I am happy to tell you that I'm aware of that. Alright, now I gotta break this line up. 
See? A little bit of this down. See? Just a tiny bit. Something like that. All right, let me set the knife out of the way. Rip some paper towels off here. How did that happen? My volume just turned up on its own. Pretty cool. Am I even still live? Let me know. Somebody give me a thumbs up or something. Or am I painting all by myself up in this place? All right. Smooth this out a little bit. Nice and peaceful. Lift it up. This helps kind of set it back a little bit, I think. Pretty sure that's what it does, but I do it just because I think it looks cool. It kind of distorts everything that's happening in life, you know what I mean, at the moment. Okay, drag some of this. Pull that down. Lift, lift, lift some of this up here. I don't know what that'll do. We'll find out. Maybe it'll look good, maybe not. Okay, got that there. Now, put that paper towel away. I'm just looking real quick here, see what we got going on in the comments. All right, nice. Good to see you all here. Good to see you all here, for sure. All right, I'm not reading any of the comments right now because I'm just trying to get through some of this. So let's do this. I'm going to do, all right, let's take, I'm going to use the base mountain color, right? I'm going to take some of the sap green color, a little bit of yellow ochre, all right, and some Prussian blue, nice dark color. Good and dark. All right. All right, got it on my knife now. And y'all know when I don't like to play around with, uh, you know, putting color down, I'm going to make that dark little black in there too. I just like to use the knife and just get it on there. See? See that? You can't worry about every little brush stroke. Just get it on there. Get it on there. Good example for everybody right here. Do not waste your time you know worrying about stuff just do it see how ugly this looks right now i'm going to show you what i'm going to turn this into in a minute all right you know what why not put some over here too oh boy i've done it now done it now huh all right, I'm going to take this brush here. Do I have a dirty brush somewhere? No. All right, here we go. I'm just going to take this brush here, and I'm going to start getting... You know what? Before I do that, let me check something here. See here. That there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. That'll be reflection. Working out great. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to take my brush here, right? I got that color down, and now I'm just going to watch this. Tapping some stuff around, see? Tapping some things happening here. All right, a lot of this stuff's not going to really show in the background too much. All right. Now, get a cleaner brush here. Get my uh, idea here. So I know I'm going to have a little reflection somewhere back here. And I know this is going to come up right about there and this is going to drop down a little lakefront happening here all right paper towels here all right but what i'm saying is my point is 
you know, don't worry so much about like little things. You know what I mean? That's all my point for the day. Okay. Back to the dirty brush. And I think there was some stuffs here that I had. Little, this is a little dark area for maybe some bushes and things. Some background things are here. This is just background stuff. See? All right. Now we're set up. Okay? We are set up. So now let me switch brushes here. Switch brushes. I'm probably going to do... Let me just glance back here. I'm going to use... Uh, hmm, let me see here. Hold on one second. Yeah, start off with some of that. Okay, there we go. Got it under control. Okay, probably take a one inch brush. And here, I'm going to take some green. We're going to mix some green and yellow ochre together. Start off with that. You know what? Going in with some yellow, There's some yellow up in here. A little bit lighter of a color. Take the dark down. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm tapping a one-inch brush into my color here. And I'm going to start back here. We're back here. I'm just going to drop in, you know, a couple little highlights to start here. All right. Get some more yellow going. A little bit more bright than that. There we go. All right, so we got to build our land. Build it, build it, build it. See that runs right across, straight across. And here we go. A little bit more yellow in the mix. All right, so I know what I what do I want here? I know that I want to have a nice little hill here. Now keep dipping into the yellow. It's important. Because you'll start to really smear paint if you don't re reload stuff. You know what I mean? I know I'm going to have a little thing here. See how this comes together? Wipe the brush off. Now I'm getting a big buildup of paint, which is fine. Okay, retapping into that color now. A little brighter, see? Shroom. idea here of what's happening a little yellow ochre in there maybe it's always a good color to have I'm leaving that dark in you see that leave the dark leave that dark color smooth this out a little bit I'm gonna drop a little bit of this color down here is this Watch this. There go. Back to this brush. Make a quick little quick little reflection. Okay. That may make a little bit better sense here shortly for that. Okay. Just wiping this brush off real quick. Set that right there. You just take a quick look here. What we got happening? All right, so it looks doable. It be doable. Okay, back to back to the live stream now. All right, so I already have a dirty brush here. So got to mix up some dark color here. Some green. Got some blue. Got some black. And got some brown. Crimson. Mixing that color up. Okay, set my knife somewhere. It's such a mess going on here. I'm taking this two-inch brush, and I just want to get this dark color down, so I'm just dipping into this dark color best I can. And I'm definitely going to just hold this easel so all hell doesn't break loose. And I'm probably going to start up here, something like this. Get some more color. 
And this is like probably the most, most freeing way to make a picture. Seriously, in my opinion. Multiple ways to paint pictures. But this here trumps it all, okay? All right, let me set this brush out the way. Let me get, probably just use a knife for this. go i'm just gonna use a knife i'd normally use like a filbert or a fan brush or something but hell with it i'm just gonna use uh take a little bit of brown mix it with some white a little bit i just want to put something in there just in case might be able to see what's happening you know what i mean so here we go uh, let's do one here mm. see that something like this right and if you don't like the lines are too big just hit this real quick see that it's still there you'll still see it done with that Surprise, the internet connection hasn't went out yet. That is amazing. Thank you, Comcast. Appreciate your service for 394 bucks a month. <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm choking on the coffee. All right. All right, back to, where are we at? One inch. Back to the one inch brush. I'm going to start putting some stuff on this tree right here. All right. I'm running out of green already. I'm going to take, I'm going to start off with some green, yellow, yellow ochre, something like that. And I'm going to, I'm just going to start putting some leaves up on, on this tree here. A little bit at a time. That's the, another very important thing when you're doing this. Just take your time as far as make sure that you, you know, reload. Because if you don't, you're going to be, you know, mixing paint all over the place that you don't want to. See? Now, I've got to brighten that up a little bit. More yellow up in here. And maybe a little green. Nice vivid color. Let's go. <clears throat> We're in here. Let's make a big old something like that. Indian yellow. We'll brighten everything up right out here on the edge. See? I'm going to go back to a nice uh, darker green color just to keep it, uh, you know, mixed up. Let's do, maybe there's one somewhere in there. Leaving a lot of the dark in here, too. Dark. See? All right, so this is like our little tree going on here. Get some more of this Indian yellow. Oh, man. That's a lot of paint on here now. A little little thing happening right there. I'm gonna have to wipe this off because I got see a lot of paint on here. And that's what you don't want to do. You want to make sure you wipe it off from time to time. Okay, let's go back into our pile here. Get some yellow back on there. Just pure yellow. It's got some dirt in it, but it makes for a good painting. The dirt is good. Out oh, here. Reload. Okay. I'm going to get some alizarin crimson in there because I like that color. Right in with the green, too. It'll make a nice, unique, unique color. Okay. Pop it all over the place. I'm going to get some straight crimson. Straight up crimson for right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's nice, nice. 